What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid and in today's video I want to talk about some of the utility of the first edition NFTs from the Cornucopius project. If you're new to Cardano, Cornucopius is a play to earn, learn to earn, and build to earn metaverse coming to the blockchain. In today's video, I want to talk about some of the utility that you'll earn as a holder of the first edition NFTs for the Cornucopius project. If you hold a first edition NFT, which could be either variation of the Bubble Jet as well as the GTI Javelin, you'll be able to partake in esports or e racing. You'll also be able to use your NFT for governance as well as staking for rewards. And then in addition to that, if you're a first edition NFT holder, you'll also have the ability to use your NFT for transportation as well as entrepreneurship. Before I dive into the specifics of the NFTs themselves, I do wanna quickly highlight why it's important for the Cornucopius team to actually use NFTs. The main benefit of using NFTs within the Cornucopius metaverse is that it's gonna allow for us to avoid repeating in-game transactions. It's also gonna provide us with the ability to access perks and features that can't be canceled or taken away from us as gamers. In addition to that, if we're using NFTs, there's not gonna be any monthly fees or charges associated with that. And you'll be able to sell your NFT at any time for potential profit, or you can stake your NFT for potential rewards. And then in addition to that, the royalties that are generated from the sales of these NFTs on secondary marketplaces will actually be going back to the Cornucopius team. And so not only will they be able to use that to enhance the game itself, they're also gonna be able to use those royalties to keep the game free for players like yourself and I. As I mentioned before, the OG Bubble Jet and the regular Bubble Jet, as well as the GTI Javelins, will be considered as first edition NFTs. The reason why that is, is because these were the first line of NFTs released by the Cornucopius team, and so they do hold a little bit of sentimental value. Before we dive into the first bit of utility for these NFTs, which is the ability to participate in esports, I do want to quickly highlight some of the specs that will be associated with each of these first edition NFTs and possibly additional NFTs that are released by the Cornucopius team. All of the Cornucopius NFTs will have different specs associated with them that will ultimately affect how they're used within the metaverse. The first spec I want to highlight for these NFTs is going to be the top speed. This is going to be how fast the vehicle can go when it's pushed to its limits. Next is going to be the acceleration. This is going to be how quickly the vehicle can reach its top speed, followed by the handling spec, which is going to dictate how easy it is to control the vehicle. And then we also have the efficiency, which is the vehicle's fuel efficiency. And then very last spec that we have is going to be the cargo spec, which basically dictates the vehicle's carrying capacity. It's really cool to see how much time and effort the Cornucopius team has put into the thought of these NFTs. I do think that the different specs will allow for a lot of flexibility within the metaverse. And so for example, I could imagine a GTI Javelin being a lot faster than a bubble jet. However, I could also imagine a bubble jet having better handling and better um, carrying or cargo capacity than a GTI Javelin. Now that we understand the different specs associated with the Cornucopius NFTs, I want to talk about how they can actually be used within the metaverse. And so when it comes to utility, the first thing I want to talk about is esports. If you're a holder of a first edition NFT, you're going to gain exclusive access to different sports and leagues within the esports community. The rarity of the NFT that you hold will dictate the clubs and leagues that you'll be able to join, as well as the races that you can participate in. You're also going to gain exclusive access to esport content as an NFT holder. And the Cornucopius team did also mention that there will be opportunities for real life sponsorships within their racing leagues. If you own a Cornucopius NFT vehicle, you'll be able to track the total number of wins and losses when it comes to racing, as well as the total number of owners, just like we do with vehicles in real life. In addition to that, you'll also be able to keep track of the total miles um, driven on the NFT, as well as its top speed. The Cornucopius team plans to allow players to display their different pedigree stats within the Cornucopius metaverse. Right now, they're currently working through exactly how they want to do that. But one of the suggestions that has come up is the ability to display badges or icons directly above a player's head within the Cornucopius metaverse. 
I think that this pedigree utility is going to give the ability to players within the metaverse to finally show off their hard work. And so imagine owning the fastest bubble jet or the fastest GTI Javelin within the Cornucopius metaverse. That's going to give you a lot of bragging rights. In addition to that, imagine owning an NFT that was previously owned by Elon Musk or Charles Hoskinson. That's also going to give you a lot of leverage if you're looking to sell that on the secondary marketplace. Next, I want to talk about governance for the Cornucopius NFTs. And so as the Cornucopius team has mentioned before, future NFTs will come with a Discord role. And so right now, if you own a GTI Javelin or a Bubble Jet, you can actually verify your NFT within the Cornucopius Discord in order to receive the appropriate role. These roles are going to unlock exclusive channels within the Cornucopius Discord. And the team has also mentioned that they are looking into adding additional permissions based on the rarity of the NFT. Moving along, let's talk about some of the benefits that you can earn while staking your Cornucopius NFT. If you hold a first edition NFT, you'll be able to stake it in order to earn different rewards such as currency, materials, and other in-game assets. That's all the information that we currently have when it comes to staking Cornucopius NFTs. The team did also mention that they are currently working through questions and unknowns when it comes to the mechanics of their staking feature. And as soon as they have answers, they'll make sure to share that with the community. Next, I want to talk about some of the marketplace and beta testing benefits that you're going to receive as a holder of a Cornucopius NFT. The team did confirm that NFT holders will have special access to future mints. However, they did also mention not to confuse this with whitelisting. The team has yet to specify what the special access features will be, but I do have a few suggestions that I think will bring a lot of value to the Cornucopius metaverse. And so as a holder of a first edition NFT, it would be really cool to see the ability to mint more NFTs than non-holders or the ability to have more variations of NFTs available. Or what would really be cool would be to have the ability to have higher minting rates for rarer NFTs as a holder of a first edition NFT. The team also mentioned that holders of the Cornucopius NFTs will have guaranteed access to the alpha version of the Cornucopius metaverse as long as they verified their NFT within the Cornucopius Discord. The team also stated that they'll be using the rarity of the NFTs in order to determine the priority when it comes to accessing the alpha version of the metaverse. Next, I want to talk about some of the entrepreneurship and in-game benefits for the Cornucopius NFTs. As an NFT vehicle owner, you'll be able to use that vehicle to actually travel around the Cornucopius metaverse. You're also going to be able to use that vehicle to transport in-game materials as well as assets. The Cornucopius metaverse will have public transportation available for those players who don't own an NFT vehicle. However, this is actually going to open up another opportunity for those with the vehicle to earn additional income. So the team did confirm that if you hold a first edition NFT, that you will have the ability to actually rent out your NFTs to other players. In addition to that, you will be able to provide transportation services similar to a um, metaverse Uber to other players. That's going to wrap it up for today's video on the utility of the first edition NFTs for the Cornucopius project. I hope that you found some of this information to be helpful. If you did, please make sure to tap that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave those down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.